All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Things are not going great, but we at least got some things working. Alexa, Jarvis. Initialized. Create this play. Creating this play. Go to google.com. Loading google.com. What is this? Play Hyper Reality by Matsudo on YouTube. Fetching video. Select this play one. So in the last video, everyone's telling me not to use Alexa. Everyone says go with uh, IBM Watson, wit.ai, or Dialogflow. Of course I didn't listen, and we went with Alexa anyway. What was most attractive to me was the cards. So every Alexa has a GUI that you can see if you go to alexa.amazon.com. Alexa, play Parkway Drive. So I'm researching Alexa skills and I find out that you could build your own cards for each skill and I thought that would be awesome to be able to display those cards in AR. So I start playing around and trying to make my own skill. In the Alexa console, you can create intents that take what a user says and map certain words to variables. You can then make an Alexa Lambda function that grabs these variables and does whatever you want with them. But what I really want are the Alexa built-in intents because I basically want my skill to just intercept Alexa functionality and return the card to me so I can display it in Unity. Now here's where my fundamental misunderstanding of how Alexa skills work comes into play. Turns out that built-in intents just handle dealing with verbal intents in similar domains. They don't actually handle making any API calls. So say for example, I use a built-in weather intent. This can extract common variables for me when someone makes a query like the city or region they're asking about, but it's up to the developer to call to an API to actually get that information. Beyond that, if we want a card, I have to build it myself, getting the images I want from another source. So I could be wrong, but it does not seem like there's a way to use native Alexa functionality in your skill. So basically what I'm saying is, I shouldn't have used Alexa. Either way, I've come this far with it, so we might as well just hook it up to Unity anyway. So there is a paid plugin on the Asset Store that handles this communication, as well as device authentication and whatnot. But since I'm already not happy with the way things are going, I'm just gonna hack together a temporary solution. So I create a little node server on my website. This thing listens for messages coming from Alexa and saves them as a current message. From Unity, I can make an HTTP request to the same server every half second, and when it sees a new message, it reads it, and then we just clear the message. Alexa, Jarvis. Initialized. What is this? So now, let's just throw in my latest GitHub projects. First of all, I want this thing to play YouTube videos. So we can create a little node script that searches for YouTube videos by the author and title of the video using the YouTube API. Now we can say something like, Play Hyper Reality by Matsudo on YouTube. Video. And Unity will start streaming in the video. Next, I want to be able to show a website in AR, so we look to the video I did for ExpressVPN. Here, we send a request to a node server that contains a website URL, and our node script uses WebShot to take a screenshot of the website and return it back to Unity. So now we can say, Go to google.com. Google so I also thought it would be cool if the app could kind of tell you what it's looking at. So I went back to an old video I did uh, on running machine learning models in Unity with the TensorFlow Sharp plugin. I grabbed my image classification example and added that in as well. Originally, when you run an image through the model, the whole app would freeze for a second. So I moved whatever did not involve mono behavior functionality into another thread, and it ended up running pretty nicely. So now we can ask Alexa, what is this? Okay, so now we have a couple cool little features, but what do we do with the controller from the last video? So Zoller V suggested that we abstract the hard-coded objects in the last video, and we just make it so people can place displays wherever they want. So this is the approach I took, but once I was playing around in the app for a while, I realized performance goes down heavy, fast. 
It became quickly apparent that the stereoscopic vision with Vuforia is going to be a problem, at least on my iPhone 6. I originally thought we could use Vuforia's device tracking so we could place screens and be able to walk around them like this old video I made for walking through memes with ARKit. Unfortunately, Vuforia seems to be lagging when I try any form of tracking with the stereoscopic vision. So device tracking causes a ton of lag, rotational tracking is not much better, and even when I turn on image tracking, uh, performance goes to hell after a little while. So I ended up going back to a project I did like two years ago before ARKit and ARCore where I just used the phone's gyroscope to anchor content based on device rotation. This ended up working fine performance wise, but the whole experience is just making me depressed. I'm thinking if we want to take this project any further, we're going to have to get rid of Vuforia. I did some research and found some projects that do the whole Google Cardboard thing with ARKit and ARCore, but I also see that Unity may be working on something similar for AR Foundation. So basically, I don't know what to do anymore. I, I originally thought this project could be something fun, uh, you know, if you guys could play along, you could download it and add in your own APIs and whatnot, but it just doesn't seem to be working that way. I'm thinking if we do want to continue with this project, we're going to also have to get rid of Alexa and maybe make some kind of desktop app that can do text to speech and speech to text. So obviously we're going to need a better heads up display as well. I'd be all for buying like a Magic Leap or the Unreal glasses, but I don't want to be developing and making videos uh, on something that you guys don't have. I want you guys to be able to play along with me. So another part of me thinks that maybe we should just give up on this entirely for now. I do see some value in maybe doing some straight Android dev because a lot of these new AR glasses coming out this year are gonna be running Android. Maybe we could go back to playing with some machine learning models. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what the hell you think we should do. That's all I got for today. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'll put all the links down in the description. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys wanna do in the comments. So with that, We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.